Friday lessons with Emmy John. Today we're going to be looking at um, reharmonization lessons we did last week or last two weeks. Um, I got questions, comments on the video asking for recommendation of exercises we could use to apply them on. Or basically somebody asks that you use a song to experiment. So I've come up with a song we can use on the, for the reharmonization exercise we treated last two weeks. Now what's that basically about? I talked about using only a note to sustain different chords. So in reharmonization, we looked at using a note and using different chords to substitute them. I used on the key of C major. This is C. On the key of C. Therefore, I did 7, 3, C, 2, 5, 1, 4 progression, sustaining the 1. So I could do that again. You could go back to the reharmonization video, it's there. But let me break it down again for you. I did this. 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1, 4. Now, how do we apply this in a song? There are two ways. Number one, you could break down, you could break them down into series to join up song. Example, 5, 1, 4, 2, 5, 1, 7, 3, 6, and a lot of other progression can be um, deduced from this um, from this list of voices. But now I want to find a way to apply all just in a song. The song I'm going to be focusing on today is Let the Living Water Flow Over My Soul. I believe we all know the song. Let the living water flow over my soul. Let the Holy Spirit come and take control in every situation. Come on, come on. I believe we all know the song. So very simple. I'm going to break them down like this. So I'm going to be doing this. Let the living water. Just follow me carefully. The notes are all on the screen. So I'm going to be doing this. See what I did? Very simple. One more time again. That's that. So one more time again. Let me break it down again. I did let the living water. So I did three, six, two, five, one, four. And I love the approach. It's very beautiful. Don't forget when we are um, rehearsing or when we are practicing or when we are learning the seven, three, six, two, five, one progression using the reham. I did this. Now I apply them as a single melody in song. So look for other songs that have the notes at pedal point and then try to apply them. Next, you could look at how to create or also different harmony using just the two. We're going to be moving in series to three, to four, five, six, seven, and then back to the one. But for now, we are focusing on the one alone. How to create seven, three, six, two, five, one using the one alone. Later, we'll look at how to use seven, three, six, two, five, one looking at the two and so on. So let's dwell much on the one now, since it's its season. So again. So one more time again, I did. Very simple. I'd like you to try it out. Don't forget, try it out one more time again. Thank you so much and God bless you. Follow for more, subscribe, join, share.